Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate Calendly to your WordPress website. So we're we'll using the method where you can embed the code directly from your Calendly account to your WordPress website. As well as down here, we use the plugin, the embed Calendly plugin in order to embed this layout. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first what you wanna do is go into your Calendly dashboard and then pick one of the appointments which you'd like to embed to your website. So I'm going to use this one over here. So what you need to do is click share. And then after that, we can go here into add to website. And then we can do either the inline embed pop up widget or pop up text. So what I'm going to use for this uh, tutorial is the inline embed. So click this and continue. Okay. And then now here's the settings, which you can use. So this is the free version of Calendly, so I won't have the premium features. Okay, so you can hide these prompts here, so the event type details and the cookie banner, but I'm just gonna keep it at default. Okay, and then you can change the colors unless if you're a paid subscriber, but I'm gonna show you a plugin which we can use after, which will give you more customization capabilities. Okay, so what you want to do is copy the code and then go into our dashboard here. So this is just a standard WordPress website. And then I'm going to create a new page. So go over here into pages and then add new page. And then I'll name this Calendly widget. Okay, and then click publish. Just in your case, I think it'll be better if you're trying to get customers, say you're doing consultations, so I'd name this consult. I'll name it something like book, book a consultation, just so it's better for SEO. Okay, and publish. Okay, and then it's just gonna be a blank page. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is add an HTML element. So go into HTML, custom HTML here. And then what we're gonna do is paste that and save. Okay, and then we're gonna view the page and then let our widget load. And awesome, so now we have our Bookio consultation widget directly on our website. So this allows you to provide a better user experience as the user will stay within your website here. And you can, again, with a paid account, you can customize the styling a lot further to, ma to match the colors of your brand. Okay, so we can click an appointment here. And it's the same as booking on Calendly. It's just an iframe within your website. So you can book an appointment here. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you how to embed Calendly on your website using a plugin. So again, go here into plugin and then add new plugin. Okay, and then we're just gonna search Calendly. And then install the first one here, embed Calendly. And then activate. So over here, we have a new plugin called Embed Calendly. So we can go here into settings. Okay, so you'll first need to get an API key. So you can do that through your Calendly account. So go to Calendly integrations. I'll get a token over here. So the V1 will be discontinued. So if you're doing a this for the first time, then you should use the V2 version. So it's this one over here. So get a new token. So let's say website token, create token. Okay, just do all the verification stuff. Okay, so I got the token here. I'm just gonna copy this and then add it here. Make sure it's a version two and paste and save. Okay, great. So now our Calendly is connected. Now we can go into event types here. Okay, and let it resync. And awesome, so now our events are showing here. Okay, so what we can do is go here to the customizer. And then we can choose which event we wanna customize. So we're doing the 30 minute consultation here and go to start customizing. So over here, you can edit, say the height, the width, the banner, so let's make it a little bit bigger and wider. So let's do 1400 by 
1000. Hide cookie banner, let's hide that one and then make it inline as well. Okay, and then we can just copy this here. Go back. So essentially what this does is if you have a lot of events, instead of copying the code, you can just use the short codes here instead, which might be a little bit easier for those who aren't really tech savvy. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is in the book of consultation page, we're going to edit. And then see within this line here, if you wanna change like the width and height, you would have to edit the styles here, but the plugin allows you to do it within their customizer. Okay, so now we're gonna add the short code. So search short code, paste that here, and then we're gonna paste our short code here and save and then view. Okay, awesome. So we can see that our calendar widget here is larger as we set the parameters to be larger than the one we set up within Calendarly. Okay, great. So I showed you two ways on how to embed Calendly on your website using their embed widget with custom code and with using the plugin, which gives you access to some more customizations on the free account. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you were able to integrate Calendly to your website. And speaking of Calendly, if you'd like to book a consultation with me personally, then you can click the link in the description to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation where we can go over your website strategy. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date with my content and thanks for watching.